So to recap, our original problem was f of x equals x squared minus 2x over x plus 1. We did our first video and found the first derivative to be x squared plus 2x plus 2 over x plus 1 quantity squared. And then we, in this next uh, video, we found the second derivative to be 6 over x plus 1 to the third. And there is a bit of a pattern here, and the good news is once we master doing our uh, product rule, quotient rule, and so forth, we're going to develop another tool that's going to help us do this kind of problem in a much easier fashion. But for now, <laughs> the fun continues. So for this problem, the first function is 6. And the good news is its derivative is 0. The second function, uh, we really need to expand that denominator and using binomial expansion. Again, you could write out x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1, multiply two of those out, then distribute and multiply out another one. But we end up with x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. And, just like before, that form will make it more convenient to do its derivative. So let me write that out. 3, x to the third plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. And the derivative of the second function then is 3x squared plus 6x plus 3. So we're ready to put that together, and that will give us our third derivative. Okay, so we start again with the second function times the derivative of the first. And again, since we're multiplying by zero, that's just going to give us a nice zero. Minus, now going the other way, we're going to take our second our second function's derivative. Can't seem to get that around. There we go. 3x squared plus 6x minus plus 3 times the first function. So I'm going to put the 6 in front. 6 times 3x squared plus 6x plus 3 all over our denominator, which was x plus 1 to the third unexpanded, and we're going to square that. Okay, so working on cleaning up this mess, Let's see, we, in the numerator, we've got our negative 6. 0 minus 6 is negative 6 times, and I see a common factor of a 3. So I'm going to take out that 3, and that leaves x squared plus 2x plus 1, which ought to look a little familiar. We've seen that before in this problem. All over, and that x plus 1 to the third squared would give us x plus 1 to the sixth. So now putting together my negative 6 times 3, I get negative 18. And if I factor x squared plus 2x plus 1, I notice that's a factor of x plus 1 times x plus 1, or more simply put, x plus 1 squared. And we have x plus 1 to the 6 in the denominator, so we have common factors. We can divide out two of the numerators with the 6 in the denominator, leaving 4 in the denominator. And that's going to give us our third derivative of negative 18 in the numerator divided by x plus 1 to the fourth power in the denominator. That was quite an interesting problem. <laughs>